So guys, Mr. Fiji here today, welcome back to another YouTube video on the Abstract channel and today we have yet another banger in store for you guys today with it being a 70 kill gameplay with the MX-9 submachine gun on Black Ops 4. Also I have to mention that Abstract are recruiting so if you want to get into this team let us know in the comments and one of the leads will take it from there and give you further information on potentially joining but before I do continue please go down and like the videos it helps us out a lot. If you're new around here and like what you see press that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I really enjoyed the Black Ops 4 beta and I know some opinions will be heavy against mine I mean I saw half of the people in this team tweet against what I said so I know that not many of you watching will agree if not in it so I thought both weekends were equally fun altogether I mean week one was obviously the better week when everything was RP and I like that about Call of Duty which is one of the reasons MW2 is my favorite COD to this day and literally anything you could use you could do well with which is insane and week two was still fun also had its fair share of RP weapons but for the most part everything was nerfed like the movement was torn down big time with sliding being the main one and obviously the bunny hopping but this is where my opinion differs from everyone else. The sliding system in week 2 didn't really seem to affect me simply because I used dexterity and I remember someone saying something about this in one of the group chats I'm in on Twitter so I saw that and thought why not give it a try and lo and behold my slide was just as good as the slide in week 1 and the jump shotting didn't really seem to affect me too much either to be honest. Even though week 1 was the better week from an overall viewpoint there were still things in week 2 which was much better than in week 1. Like the score streaks and specialists because the score streaks in week one were terrible they didn't do anything I remember getting the attack dropper like five or six times and it only ended up getting me about two kills overall and that to me is just rendering it useless so as soon as I unlocked the strike team I started using that but saying that the strike team wasn't that great either but in week two the score streaks were amazing I used the attack helicopter twice because I used it in the last hour of the beta and that thing got me a ton of kills easily 10 to 15 kills it was insane and the strike team actually felt like a score streak that was worth the points that thing held down positions like it was nothing and the newer two score streaks that they added in the beta they were also amazing the strafe run was so good and the gunship is the streak I'm most excited for the AC-130 is back and I couldn't be more happy about it oh my god that thing shreds this is probably a streak I'll be running quite a lot because when I get it all it's gonna cause is chaos the thing was insane let me know what you guys think in the comments what are your thoughts on the AC-130 returning into Black Ops 4 I'm excited for it the specialists were a lot more balanced now I said that I like everything RP but I don't like it when there's only one specialist that everyone's going for and weekend 2 stopped a lot of people wanting to choose ruin I mean it might have been me but I felt like it got nerfed a little bit so there were a lot more people trying to get recon battery serif specialists like that I was seeing them become more popular mostly recon I personally love recon that was my favorite the SMGs were too heavily nerfed in my opinion they went from being amazing to horrible I mean almost to a point where they seemed to be shooting peas they did hardly any damage obviously not including the SOG 9 MN that thing was a monster but the rest of the SMGs were pretty bad overall especially things like the rampart the vapor and the last one I forgot the name of but those guns were really really good the scar had no recoil same with the vapor but the last one just felt a bit too powerful it had a bit of recoil but it didn't matter because that thing melted through people if I had to sum all of that into little points I'd say that overall the SMGs were nerfed too much in weekend 2 the ARs almost ran the game specialists were a lot more balanced score streaks were good quote unquote devastating and the movement was nerfed too much. Now obviously this isn't going to be perfect off the beta but it's always useful to give some opinions on what the game was like so they could make a change in it but let's be real here no one really cares about what I think. But if you do care I hope you agree or at least understand what I'm saying when I said all of that. Next we're going to be moving on to the blackout beta and I cannot lie I'm so pumped for this beta. It releases in something like three and a half weeks but it's out on September 10th. I already know that blackout is going to be amazing. If it does just end up being COD with 100 people going for that number one spot but you never know. They could change a few things I mean right now I'm liking the look of the blackout beta and the little things that were shown in the blackout beta trailer made me so hyped for it as well I can't wait for seeing maps like raid in there which is now confirmed and that is going to be amazing and maps like cargo and nuketown which looks interesting on this honestly because it looks like nuketown like we've never seen it before the closest thing we've seen to this is nuketown zombies on black ops 2 after getting nukes or the aftermath and I heard a rumor that this will be in the dead center of the map but that's only a rumor Baruch looks insane as well because there are zombies there in the picture which gives me plenty of ideas of what they could be used for. They could be used as a distraction from other players, meaning if you go there, you'll have to kill zombies as well as players to get your loot, which would be cool, but pretty annoying. All the zombies could be like the storm. Since this is a battle royale game mode, I thought the zombies would be the circle moving in, and when the circle stops, there could be a wall that has stopped them from moving, and they could be attempting to break it down like a barrier from actual zombies, 
up until the zone starts to come in again. I think that would be insane. Can you imagine being chased by a huge herd of zombies while trying to kill people in Battle Royale? But again, let's be real, that is more than likely not going to happen. There was also things like wingsuits in there, which I think would be cool to get down from buildings, like it did show in the trailer. Honestly, everything in that mode looks insane and fun. Multiplayer was seriously fun as well. So I'm not going to lie, I think this is the year to play Call of Duty. Think about it, we have multiplayer, which most people play anyway. We have zombies, which I always find fun to play. And Blackout. That's three different things. Three really fun mods mixed into one game. Obviously an expensive campaign, but Blackout really does look good, and I cannot wait until September 10th to start playing that. It's going to be so fun. I will let you guys know again that we are recruiting, so if you want to have a chance of joining, then let us know in the comment section down below. Then a leader will reply to you, letting you know what you have to do in order to potentially join us. The Pub Stompers link will be in the description. I heavily recommend you check him out and give him some support so he's motivated to post more of these gameplays for you guys. My link will also be in the description if you want to see more from me. Unfortunately, that is the end of this commentary. If you enjoyed it, please go down and leave a like as it helps us out a lot. If you're new around here and like we see, press that red subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss an upload. I think this is the longest commentary I've ever done for anyone, so let me know how you think I did. If you've watched this far, then comment blackout so I know you've watched all the way through. But that's all from me, and yeah, I'm Mr. Feed signing out. Peace. And I like to give a shout out to my niggas with the game plan. And shout out to my niggas with escape plans. Uh, 20 bands, rain dance. We can eat the rain check or we can make plans.